Today, Apple have just announced that they're bringing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro X to the iPad on the 23rd of May. I just wanted to jump on here today and share some of my thoughts quickly with you because I have got a lot of emotions about this. First of all, you will need an M1 iPad. If you've got an older iPad like myself, then unfortunately this isn't going to be a release for you. However, if you're rocking one of the newer M1 iPads, then this is great news. You're going to be able to edit on the go. Not only that, this new version of Final Cut Pro that they're releasing for the iPad already just from the quick video that they've shown in the release looks like it's got some pretty awesome features a lot of obviously fully touch compatible which could be great for quickly editing i mean the fact that it's on the ipad amazing and then also using like the apple pencil it looks like there's loads of advanced like keying and background separation tools that are going to be available but not only that things like animated text you know using handwriting drawing using the pencil and just having that immediately animate onto your videos so on one hand like this is like super exciting and then on the other hand there's a couple of things which have been bugging me. Literally, as I was watching the press release for this, I was working on a YouTube video script for a future video I've been planning for the channel, which is about the future of Final Cut. And that video, I'm still gonna make that video, I might have to edit it a little bit, but I've been starting to ask the question, is Final Cut starting to fall behind against the competition and is Apple targeting a less pro and a more kind of consumer market with the software? Now, I haven't got an answer to that question, um, but I've got a lot of thoughts on it. But now we're seeing Final Cut come to the iPad, whilst I can see that makes perfect sense and it seems like there could be quite a lot of powerful, cool features coming with it, there's a couple of things about the release that are kind of bugged me. The first one, it's gonna be a subscription app. If you've paid £299 or $299 for Final Cut Pro on your Mac, then it isn't gonna give you access to the iPad version. And it looks like the pricing is about £5 per month or £50 or $50 for the year. So it's not an expensive subscription, but it is another subscription for you to think about. I'm, I, I'm kind of torn on that. I can see why they're maybe doing that. And maybe this kind of ties into my thoughts for this other video I've been planning, which is if I'm thinking that it's falling behind compared to the competition, one of the reasons I'm thinking that is because of the release schedule, the updates that Premiere Pro and DaVinci have been getting incredibly regular updates all of the time and Apple's updates are few and far between. So if this subscription model that's coming to the iPad version of Final Cut, is that going to mean that the desktop Mac version of Final Cut ends up going onto a subscription? I don't know, but maybe. I don't love that, but then also, is this a clear sign that Apple are still investing heavily into the Final Cut system, which means could we be getting regular updates to Final Cut? I've been thinking that Apple have been very quiet on the Final Cut updates for a little while now, but obviously they've been really busy in the background working on these iPad versions of the software. So does this mean like, are they testing the water, maybe? Release it on iPad, see how everyone responds to a subscription model, and if kind of the reception is kind of good, then maybe they launch Final Cut for desktop on a subscription model, and then start plowing all of these cool new features which we're seeing on the iPad into the desktop version. Maybe we see a release schedule that ramps up to compete with the kind of nearly monthly updates that the competition seems to be getting at the moment. 
And then does that mean that if we then switch to that subscription model, then we end up getting much more regular updates and seeing some of the features that are so sorely missing from Final Cut come to the software. I don't know, I'm so torn. It's like, it, on one hand, it would be great to see regular updates on Final Cut. On the other hand, I don't really want another subscription, but I guess I could handle paying a subscription if it means that I get regular updates and that if Final Cut really starts to keep up with the competition, you know, I've been saying that I've been looking at other items of software recently, you know, particularly DaVinci Resolve and being possibly tempted to give that a go and make the leap. But I've been using Final Cut Pro for so long at this point, it's so ingrained into the way that I work that I'm really reluctant to jump ship and, and use another software. I'm hanging on in there, desperately waiting for Apple to do something to show me that they're really serious about it as a, as a piece of software. And whilst this isn't it, it's not what I was expecting and it's not what I particularly wanted, there's an inkling in there that, oh, they are still heavily developing Final Cut Pro to release an iPad version, you know, they're not messing about. And the iPad version in itself, I could see that being, you know, really useful and really cool. I personally would need to buy a new iPad in order to utilize that. Um, but yeah, I guess the main thing that's on my mind is this monthly subscription. Does the monthly subscription mean that this is the way we're going? It does seem to be the way the world is going. And I guess $5 a month or $50 a year is quite affordable for most people so I'm not too mad about that but that would have to come with a really great release schedule so yeah I don't know bit of a rant maybe in this video but it's kind of like yeah on one hand I'm super excited on the other hand I'm a little bit dubious about what this means for the future I guess some of the features in the iPad version, are they still, is it pro? Is it pro or are these features much more hobbyist content creator, consumer style things that we're seeing? You know, they're trying to get people who wanna make Instagram reels to be editing in Final Cut Pro on the iPad. I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share some thoughts with you. So if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to the press release down below so you can see all the information they've released. What do you think? What do you think about this? Do you think that Final Cut is gonna go into a subscription model? Um, do you think that Final Cut is keeping up with the competition? What do you think? What do you think about the new features that they've announced? Let me know in the comments. I'll keep an eye, I'll be responding to comments um, as I always do. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.